so welcome to the last part of the tutorial uh we're gonna just finish it up here in this video finish all the bits and pieces off and uh, i wanted to start by um showing another tool that i haven't shown yet a very very useful function that um i use all the time and that's uh you can use um warp you can use these surface brushes as well but i particularly use warp all the time um using this method either at scene mode so you can use warp on everything if i select warp now and warp everything groups or individual selected layers so say for instance i want to warp this hat you can see here in maiden's um piece the hat's kind of off to the side there wobbling off to the side so i could select these layers and select the warp tool and you'll see it's moving a bit funny and that's because all these layers have different symmetry settings so i want to just clear these settings clear symmetry and now when i warp it it'll just warp these layers and then i can also just go in move that down a bit maybe and obviously if you warp too much it might uh, get a bit skewed out of shape you know if you're doing hard surface stuff or whatever for for this you know it doesn't matter it's what you want because um these are organic shapes so you don't want them to be all be perfect and um, you want them to have that little bit of real world sort of handmade feel to them and that's um that's my favorite thing about modeler um you know there's no the usual 3d programs or technical barriers or things that you know annoy you while you're working or it's just you're working with your hands tools are all simple there's nothing to stop you you can just do anything you know nothing's going to get in your way technical barriers or anything um the usual frustrations that you get no matter how experienced you are in 3d uh programs and um, there's always something that's going to annoy you at some stage during projects but with modeler that doesn't that doesn't happen it's just it's it's just a lot of fun it's just using your hands and that's why you know i sort of have the philosophy of yeah you're making things by hand so use that to your advantage don't be worrying all the time about everything has to be perfect even doing hard surface stuff you know everything doesn't have to be completely perfect because nothing is in the real world and you know the warp tool here makes it so easy to just um, um to just make things more realistic more believable um, if they have that non-perfect look so that as i said that warp trick or even i can select a group i can uh, take a selection of layers or i can work at the scene level here so nothing selected you just either select your group select your layers or nothing selected and then select the warp tool and it'll automatically um warp whichever of those um, variables is in play and then as i say if you're getting weird results you can just uh, this mix settings here just turn it off because if i don't turn it off here and i'm warping the whole scene you can see here it's the symmetry or the mirrors are, are affecting the warp so just bear that in mind and it will also take a bit longer so if, if you have a, um, a scene a dense scene and loads of layers and, and a huge big warp you know you could it's going to take ages to calculate so just be mindful of that as well um so yeah that hat with the little wobbly bit on it so now i'm gonna uh, go in here we work on this and i will turn off the symmetry and just as i was talking about there um you know you can see here all the um the organic nature of the, of the cheese here that, that maiden's modeled so it looks way better than just if it was left like this i can start by just randomly kind of going around with the warp tool i'm going to go up another level just so i don't lose too much detail and i probably should have switched that back to smooth but it's no no big deal and just give it a pass not sure what that is i'll probably have to turn up smooth a bit more because I've gone up in resolution. So yeah, just go around. And then and use the warp then to... I 
Let's mess up the surface. And then obviously, you know, we don't can use any of our sculpting tools here. So, and let's say, for instance, I'll grab the build up tool and just take it, take a chunk out of here. And I have me uh, the fall off. Um, sorry, the hardness set up, so you can turn that down, or if you want a smoother result, which for this I probably should have done because cartoony piece, but it doesn't matter. I can just uh, smooth it all out, and in this case, um, smooth's doing all right there. But if you're at higher resolutions, you just obviously have to like ZBrush. Or blender if you use the sculpt in there you just have to turn up the uh the strength of the smooth to offset that and add some cheesy bits i'm just going to do this quick i'm not <laughs> i'm not going to um spend too long doing this because there's a few more uh, bits to make so i might do some with off camera or whatever but yeah just just to give you Give you an idea. Well, using these sculpting tools as well. And then I'll just blast it all with the smooth. And yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that um, for for the sake of what's in it, um, for the tutorial. So I will do the melt next, and I'm just gonna use warp tool. You can also to get a cleaner uh, cut there. I suppose you could just use if you want. Um. Stretch that out, maybe you could also use a, a destructive boolean, but in this case, I think we'll be fine with this. And I might just go back there before I did that warp and down here, out there, maybe, and shape it up then. And then I would probably use, yeah, I'll show you then another powerful workflow here for, uh, with these clay layers. I'll just um, create another layer. And let's say we create a cube for the, the upper lip there. Maybe put a round on it. bring it down a bit and then I'm not going to be too panicky here because I can just um, use the trusty warp tool again and blend it up here then and then yeah I'll just stretch it up and same again obviously Spend as long as you want doing it. <laughs> More than this, anyway. And I'll wait till these other parts are in, so I'll just create some more new layers. And I could, I could copy these as well. Like instead of uh, creating new layers here, I can just grab these, place them in there. Roughly, and then another one for the nose. And what kind of nose has he got? Maybe a 
bit more of a bend. As I say, I'm 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 only I'm just doing this really quickly. I'm not gonna spend too long for the sake of the tutorial. And these are I'll probably move those something needs to move down here, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna just move these down a bit. And maybe move that in. Give that another bit of res. And the cheeks. The cheek is here. And there. Now they're a bit closer to the eyes. And that's not too bad. And now some teeth. So I'll just lock that in. Gizmo. And just get them roughly. Maybe some taper. And some round. Don't even need to do the round. I won't bother with that. I can just, as I say, smooth this. So his teeth are a bit longer, maybe. Not as much taper. Yeah, that's not too bad there, so. Yeah, a bit longer. I'll just do this by hand without the gizmo and pull them up. A bit more taper. Closer together. Yeah, that's not too bad there. And for the tongue, I'll just same again, I'll just grab one of these. And just shape it out then. Stretch it out. And for this, I will, yeah, I'm just going to squash this in. Maybe go up, up two levels. And... And I'll just use that warp. And um, it's always good to to try and keep your, your layers separate for as long as you need to. Um, these destructive layers, like, so you're not, um, you're not gonna, it's easier to, to manipulate them basically with the, the warp. And then at the end, you can just, uh, when you're ready then, just merge them together and I think I will yeah I'm gonna give that more res smooth that in his tongue is kind of in his mouth maybe make it a bit bigger yeah so obviously as I said a few <laughs> times not making excuses but I'm, I'm, for the sake of the tutorial I'm not going to try and get this perfect or anything. And get the, you get the idea of what's going on here. <laughs> and back in here, I'll add in some, uh, some build-up. Now, you can add these, this in as well with uh, with layers. Like, I'm using build-up tool here to, um, to sculpt. So, I'm gonna, I'll turn down the... I'm using build up here to sculpt. Maybe turn up the strength. But you can also just add in layers. 
what I what I did with the tongue there. You can do that. You can do that with this as well. You get cleaner sort of um you get cleaner transitions and everything. The way that see the way in this tongue here, the way it kept a nice perfect line in the middle, you could do the same here with this. If you wanted to keep it cleaner, and then that way you can you can sort of non-destructively in a sense shape this part and get it perfect and then merge it all. Or you can just use the sculpting tool. So in this case, for what we're doing here is sculpting tools are fine. And then as I showed earlier on, like this you have uh, you have an inflate. So this isn't, it's not exactly the way it is here. Like he hasn't, he's only got the kind of the, the lower lip. So I overdid all that. So let me see, I'll go up. Oh, I forgot to turn it back to smooth. The smooth algorithm. Not to worry. Um. Yeah, it's quite high now, so sculpting might be... No, that's not too bad. Yeah, so I won't do as much here. I'll just... Could even use the... um The inflate. And turn the strength down way too strong. I'll turn it down to zero. Use the inflate. And yeah, don't forget you have to um you also have the what was I gonna say there? Steady, steady stroke, lazy mouse. And um, we'll turn that back to and raise as well. That's like the standard brush in ZBrush or Blender. So I'll give this a little bit more volume here. And I usually, when I'm sculpting, I usually have smooth, or sorry, smooth shading turned off. But um, it's fine, I suppose, for these kind of cartoony characters. I'm just giving that a smooth. And then if you want, you know, you can go around, pull the inside of the milk back. And then I will also, yeah, might as well do these as well, no harm. Merge them in. And that, that is, is that low? Oh, sorry, yeah, I wanted to turn this off. Sorry, I mean, turn it back to smooth. I'm just gonna undo that, select these and this and um, I might as well merge these together now and see what res that is. It's not too bad. So give it a blast to the smooth. And also the nose. Maybe Make that a bit thinner there. Just sort of saying, like, this is going to be easier to do if you keep these separate, perfect them. But as I keep saying, I'm not going to spend that much time for the sake of what we're doing here. And the nose, I think that looks okay. Yeah, I think that looks okay for what it is. And merge these. Smooth her off, blend it in, and what else, what else, 
Oh yeah, probably. As I finish these eyes here as well. Extremely low that is. And this one as well. Go up three times. Three times and. I have that oh yeah i'll put that back to single and then yes yeah, so, yeah we could just make new layers here for um you know for materials or whatever and i'm not going to do anything like that or render this anywhere so I'm not too worried about it but i'll just smooth that off maybe looks kind of weird <laughs> uh, it's not too bad but i think what i will do is um make these a bit bigger and i probably should have just left that it looks a bit funny uh, maybe give it a see if i put a pupil in it would it look any better <laughs> yeah no nah, it's too weird i will get rid of them and just leave that maybe yeah that's not i suppose that's not too bad is it you know if you're not shading it yeah we leave it like that and then there are some eyebrows so maybe just pull that up and uh, maybe some sort of eyelids even. And <laughs> that will do i'm gonna just create some new layers or a new layer there's also this tool as well but i don't really use it that much um we put on the quick tune it's like a muscle muscle tool and then you can use this um i don't really use it that much as i say you can use this thumb stick on the other side plus the quick tune button to uh to get that kind of shape or in this case um in this case i won't use it i will just use a capsule and use a quick tune when you quick tune like that if you hold down the trigger it'll snap it there so the radius will remain and we'll just make one and then we can smooth it just to narrow it up there a bit maybe too much and what are these kind of things like I'll give it a bit more res And you can also just narrow it there with the warp. Maybe bend these this way. It's gone really weird now, is it? It's not too bad. Maybe put that over there. And same then again for this if i select all these warp you can warp them all together now they look a bit silly but um the way i've modeled them but um just don't uh, don't judge me too harshly and yeah i think 
I think that'll do for what we're doing. Maybe just I'll, I'll move them in a bit closer. And won't waste any more time on them. That will do for that. Maybe smaller. No, I'll leave it. That's fine. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. Um, now we need to make the arms and the cheesy holes here. So I'll make these first. And easy because of what we're doing here with the smaller there. And maybe just make that one like that. A bit deeper, maybe. And smaller. One, two, three. <laughs> I should probably should have spent a bit more time doing these. I'll just push that in now and push this in a bit more. This in. I didn't go deep enough with these, so I can just pull them in. And yeah, so you get the idea there, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to spend too long more doing these. Just use that quick tune. Put a few in randomly. Yeah, so I'll, I'll just I'll, that's enough. You can you know what I'm doing there now. So um, doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe get a bit more on that, a bit deeper. No, I'll just use the the warp, 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 and then I suppose you can just go round and just smooth all of these off. And I will bring the strength up, smooth. Turn off pressure. And the reason as well, you might want to go up in levels there when you when you take cuts out, especially if it's hard surface, and you want to maintain uh, those sharp edges on these cuts. You know, obviously, the higher the res sharper those cuts are going to be they won't be kind of voxely looking so it won't take too long on this good enough maybe a bit deeper with that Yeah, I'll leave it at that. That's that's good enough there. You get the idea. Maybe a bit more wobbly here. Give it a better silhouette there. And pull that out. And once you get used to this warp tool, it's fantastic. Like you, know, you, you can, you can do so much with it. And I forgot these bits here, so I'll create them as. No, no need to. I'm just gonna copy these layers here, stretch them up a bit, and I'm gonna get mirrored over there, and then turn off symmetry, and then just move that into place. So that's not too bad there. Cheesy bits. And then do the same here. You can just pull that in. To hollow it out a bit. And 
and probably pull this out a bit more. Actually, move that in like that. Go back a bit more here. Yeah, because it's closer to the bottom there. I think that might be a bit better. And same again then, I'm just going to drag that in or use the, the boolean and just chop it out, but that's good enough. So for the arms next, a yeah, new layer, turn off mirror and symmetry, and I'll start with a capsule and same size the legs pretty much. What res are we at? That's good enough. And onto the warp. So one of the big requests with the SDF prims is um splines, non-destructive splines. So hopefully we'll get that. I don't know when, but hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later. So in the meantime, and I use this method what I'm about to use here for cables, even hard surfaces. The motorbike I did there whatever months ago, but all the cables on the motorbike were just done this way. So it's basically this is all I'm this is all I'm doing like just using the warp and let's see what kind of arms he has. They are going down like that. I'm just doing it in small moves. It starts to tin out so you can grab the end and just thumb stick up a bit to widen it back out again or you can use this crazy elastic brush for more aggressive sort of moves and it's kind of going forward a bit I'll adjust that sleeve then to fit down more maybe and the elastic one kind of warps it a bit more than the than the warp as in uh, the starter so I'll switch back to warp and you know you kind of you do have to spend a bit of time with this um it's not ideal like it's it does the job but we definitely need splines definitely need splines to do this sort of stuff but it's handy for um for quick sort of stuff that's not doesn't have to be completely perfect or anything and you just just that the suit <laughs> Funny. Right, concentrate on this. And how far up? It's probably too. Yeah, it's about there, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm not going to spend too long on, on on the arm here because you get the idea. It'll just be way too boring to watch. But yeah, you can just go in and finesse it there. Right, okay. <laughs> Next, I will start with a box for the fist here. And maybe go down a level. And then it'll start to start to round itself out then. Too much, too much. So I'll just use this force to to block out the hand. And then I'll just grab some more 
some capsules. This morning we've only got three. I'll just block it out for us and get an idea what it's gonna look like. And here's Tom. A bit bigger, maybe. Tom. <laughs> now, be easier to get the spatula in place first, and then we can get a better idea where that's going. So, spatula, we'll just make it in place here again. So we can just roughly line it up, quick switch, and then reset the rotation with the, uh, the primary thumb stick, click, cylinder, and wrong, wrong widget. Um, so that's going down to about there. And I should have made that capsule actually, so capsule it is. That's going up about to there. To there, and pretty much like like that's good enough. Lay down the clay, move the gizmo up, change it to cylinder, scale it down a bit, and maybe scale it down a bit more. That's about right there. New layer. And lay it down and keep the gizmo there. Keep using the same gizmo from these layers just so you don't have to keep, you, you have that center again exactly. So switch it to a cube and it's slightly more narrow than this. And remember, I'm just holding the, um, whatchamacallit, I am holding the trigger there when I can do one side or trigger for two sides and I probably have to move this again now when I add some round yeah see the round is here so you can't rotate that around so I will have to rotate it myself I'll just do this one side at a time and that's about it there it's quite big so I'll move it down a bit down and yeah that's not too bad a bit less round and we will go with that that's got enough new layer lay it down this here i will I'll take a bit off that Maybe to there. Back to this one. And scale that down. Turn on. Yeah, let me see now. I'll just actually. That has. You could use a boolean there. Because um, it has a sharp end on it. 
if I use the chamfer. And let me see. Turn it around. Chamfer, chamfer all the way. About there. And that looks not too bad. Turn on sim. And I probably made it too wide and not long enough, but yeah, um, it's it's not too bad. I'll tell you what, I'll just uh I will just use the warp tool. Square. Stretch it up a bit. It's probably just it's too big here for I can move the whole thing down so Move this down a bit more, maybe. And yeah, that's good enough. I'm just going to leave it like that for, for what we're doing here. I'll merge these together. And I'm going to go up a level. Drop down the strength. And maybe... Make it a bit rounder here. I could have put this fillet onto uh, when I was making it, but this is just as quick to do this anyway. So using the smooth, smooth brush, and now we'll just fix up the hands a little bit. Drop that hardness, turn it back. Probably want to bring that in much closer. And all these fingers. Maybe into there. And same thing again, like I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time sorting out the hand. But this is another example of using layers, using different layers, and then you can merge them all, blend them all at the end. It's a great workflow. So you've you sort of it's non-destructive in, in a sense, you know, because you can get everything just just as as you like, and then at the very end you can, the very end you can um merge them together. So yeah, as I said, I'm <laughs> not gonna spend too long doing this hand, and then I keep saying it, but I keep I keep going all, all the same. And that will, his thumb looks kind of broken out, but that will that will do it at the moment. Sorry, <laughs> I can't help myself. Yeah, all that like I'll, when I when this gets blended together, then you can just smooth it all out, then and it it comes together nicely. And we will. Yeah, I'm gonna just <laughs> leave it there, even though I keep saying that, but then I don't leave it there. Right. So let's say we are actually not really happy with the tone. Of 
good. Good enough, good enough, good enough. I'm just going to leave it. But you can see how fast it is in VR to just to do all this stuff. Like it's so fast to move layers around and lay, lay things out. It's especially a modeler. I'm not just VR, it's modeler the way it's set up here. The, um, it's so fast that the system they've built here with duplicating layers, moving them around. The mirror system, the groups and everything. It's just, um, it's ridiculously fast. So I am happy with that. What we could do now is we could grab all this and turn that into a group. So then it's easier to just move it around and select it then. You can just move it then in one go. And also, what's he doing now? And also, we can select the group and then instead of doing a mirror you can just copy it flick it across and then oh, or create an individual arm or whatever you want to do there but um so this one go in here get rid of that now in this case like i would um i just do, yeah, I'll probably make that a hand that's bigger than that one. And he's making a fist. So I'll tighten it up there. Rather than merging it all there, you see where you can, you can reuse it then. Um, reuse it and still have it sort of non-destructive because we didn't merge that stuff together to you know to make the to quickly make another hand pose different hand pose <laughs> and then the group still has the group so I will Hang on, I might as well just um, grab the sleeve as well. And probably. Yeah, same thing again. I'm not I'm not gonna spend ages doing this because it'll just be bored to tears, so I can leave that like that. And for sh the shoe here. Um, just to give them different rotations, I'll turn off mirror and I'll use this again, uh, duplicate in place and we can give them a little bit of a torn his foot out a bit more even, just so it's not exactly the same as the other one. And that I think is... Pretty much it, except I want to maybe add a bit more in here. Under the eyes. Maybe pull, pull all this out of it. Sink the eyes in. But yeah, I'm just, this is probably ridiculous doing this in this <laughs> tutorial here. And one more thing, maybe just to, oh, they're okay, I suppose. Maybe bring them up a bit. Yeah, I think that is, I'm going to make this a bit bigger. I probably should have looked at some uh, different refs from the side or whatever, but <laughs> for what it is, I think it's okay. And then, yeah, the sock as well there, probably do the same. Uh, turn off mirror and flip it across. 
and rotate it around a bit more and whatever go in with the warp down and, and change it around make it a bit different And I think now what I will do, I'll finish off the hands, I suppose. I probably should make this a bit bigger, maybe. Yeah, I think I would probably make the hands bigger anyway. I think I've made them too small. Or have I? Yeah, still not happy with that thumb there, but <laughs> it's probably because this finger here is. These fingers are bent at a weird angle. And these. Right, okay, forget about that. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna blend these in now, blend this in. Just so you get the idea of what I'm talking about, although I'm sure you already have, have the idea. I leave that thumb for the moment, and or this part of the thumb, just so it doesn't stick to that yet, and merge, and then maybe go up a res. Smooth her out. You know, I probably should have stuck these together here so that you can see here some of the voxels are merging. He doesn't really have a defined knuckle here, so. Yes, this is what I mean about the. Yeah, so the, I'm trying to move this, and this is moving. There's no masking yet, or like you're having zebras with the polygroup masking. But yeah, just to demonstrate what you can do with this blending, and you know, do it. Spend a bit more time on it than me. It's still a bit wobbly and lumpy, but uh get the idea and then I would obviously then grab these merge these and blend that in then as well and yeah I might as well just do this as well <laughs> And check the silhouettes. Yeah, I'm going to leave this it looks really weird. I should have spent more time. <laughs> Um, blending those in before I merge them, but I wouldn't have to do as much smoothing then. But of course, don't forget, like you still have your use your build up here, fill some of it in, and then smooth. Yeah, so you get the idea, man. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep. I know I say that, but 
I'm going to keep doing it. Look, I'm going to leave it because it will drive people crazy if they have to watch this. And then I would do the same then. Um, merge all this together. Fix that up properly. Merge it together. And that is pretty much it. So, yeah, I hope this was... Uh, Helpful for people into the group. Am I getting some sort of bug? No, okay. I'll just turn this around and maybe pull that out a bit. Right, <laughs> I am going to leave that as is. One more piece to merge together. And that's me. Yeah, just tweaking pretty much there. So, my mistake is that's still mirrored. So, what I want to do is turn that mirror off and copy and flip and then. I won't be fighting against myself. Right, so that's it. Finito. And I hope that was somewhat helpful. All right then. Cheers. Thanks. Good luck.